out on a lonely beach. There's a lot of the old trees that had been stripped bare and driftwood, big pieces of driftwood. This is called Sitting on Beach. The painted sky of lonely lights the path that leads across the marsh to the sand dunes, to the crashing surf, to me sitting on a sun-bleached tree. Life once flowed through us both. It's an honor for me to speak briefly with you today. Tom was quite a poet, so I want to share a poem with you. It's called The Soldier's Poem. It is the soldier, not the minister, that gives you the freedom of religion. Not the reporter, it's the soldier that gives you freedom of press. It is the soldier, not the poet, that gives you freedom of speech. It is the soldier, not the campus organizer, who gives us the freedom to protest. It is the soldier, not the lawyer, who gives us the right to a fair trial. It is the soldier, not the politician, who gives us the right to vote. It is the soldier who salutes the flag, who serves beneath the flag. It is, has been truly an honor for me to have known Tom Bowden. Our relationship dates back to 1990 when I joined the 360. Tom joined the Marines. Went to the Marines in Vietnam and then later was commissioned in the, as an infantry officer in the Army Reserves and went to Grenada and Panama and Haiti, Desert Storm, Bosnia, even to Honduras and Egypt. In 1962, he retired after 40 years in 2002. He came to the 360th as a headquarters company commander. He left as a deputy commander. He received the Legion of Merit, Bronze Star, Defense Meritorious Service Medal, Army Commendation Medal, and the list goes on. That's why when you would see him, it looked like he'd raise his epaulets up to him so he could get all the stuff. I want to ask every veteran to stand and join me in a salute to our friend. Do we read again? Another poem I was riding down the, uh, kind of a, in the low mountains, and as you came around the curve and just you start down the road, it was real foggy. And uh, the only thing you could see was some pine trees, the tops of very tall pines poking out. And then you went on down and you come across a, a pond. And uh, this is kind of my thoughts when that. It's called Waiting. Driving early morning on lonely mountain road, misty fog hugging the valley, with only tall pines able to look out. Red street clouds reaching to heaven like lost souls begging for forgiveness. Mist on lake hides the lily pads from searching eyes. Lifeless trees stick out like skeletal fingers giving resting places for green turtles who, like me, wait for the sun. This represents our great country. I love our country, fought for our country, and one man who served our country. God bless you. Another one uh, riding down a long country road, and there's a big, big field, and there's just one tree out in the middle of the field. And it's called Lonely Vigil. Tree standing alone in an open field as the sun slips into silence. 
vulnerable to flash from angry sky to cold wind to lonely. Why were you cast out of the forest? I too know you as the sun slips from me. I was a lot like my brother. <laughs> he was just slicker than me. <laughs> <laughs> to be like Tom, that's an impossibility. He was uniquely made. At the service, in Brunswick, I kept waiting. He's going to jump up out of there. <laughs> it would have been, been like him. <laughs> All right, I'll just stop. This is kind of a fun poem. It's called Sun Shower. I was caught in a sun shower today, so I ran under a laughing willow to get out of the splashing rays. I was soon joined by a toad and a robin. It's a good thing it only lasted for a few minutes. For after introductions, we had nothing else to talk about without fear of offending one another. have one poem, I'll, I guess is one of the last ones, to kind of round up my life, and it's called Casting Shadows. When I was young, I was called cute, handsome, even beautiful. I was strong, daring, and so fleet of foot that I cast a shadow upon the sun. As I matured, I was called dashing, courageous, even distinguished. I was fearless, a warrior. I traveled the world, but I began to notice that my shadow only reached the moon. Now the years have taken me on and I'm called nice, friendly, interesting, even funny. But the most discerning of all is the realization that my shadow is only cast upon stone.